we're recording. Some folks are hoarding. We've been ordered. Stay at home. I'm the daddy. And I'm the bad boy. And we hope to bring you joy. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Daddy and the Big Boy. I'm Ben McCain, the daddy. And I'm Zach McCain, the big boy. In 1980, 1980, I was working for a TV station in Port Arthur, Texas, and I would do a lot of stories on the different country acts, different acts that would come through town. They played a place called The Palace, and I did a, a feature story on a guy by the name of Bob McDill. He's one of the great songwriters in America, in my opinion. And Bobby, Bobby Bear, Bobby Bear was, was, was playing, and I went out and, and interviewed Bobby Bear, and I was talking to Bobby about Bob, because Bob was from that area. He was from the Beaumont, Port Arthur area. So Bobby was nice enough. This was 40-something years ago. He was nice enough to spend a little time with me, and we talked about Bob because he was also a big fan of Bob McNeil. But here's the story I did, and when we go back, when we go back this far, what do we say? We're going back into. We're going into Daddy's video archives. <laughs> That's right. Here we go. Here's the feature story on uh, Bob McNeil. I know you should leave. Wait. Radio stations all across the country are playing Ronnie Millsap's new song, Why Don't You Spin the Night? According to Billboard magazine, it's the number one country song in the nation this week. It was written by Bob McDill. McDill grew up in Beaumont, but has lived in Nashville for several years. In 1976, he was voted Songwriter of the Year by the Nashville Songwriters Association. KTRM program director Bob Shannon has watched several songs written by McDill climb the charts to the top. Most of the big artists right now are having some number one country hits with him. Artists like Ronnie Millsap, The Kendalls. Uh, most of Don Williams' stuff is Bob McDill material. Waylon Jennings, Crystal Gale, and Bobby Bear have also had success with McDill songs. Bear, a close friend to the songwriter, says McDill is the most successful, consistent songwriter he knows. Bear also praised his singing ability. He's a great singer. Every recording company, with no exception, every recording company in Nashville has did everything in their power to get Bob to record and be an artist. And Don Williams and I sat and talked to Bob for hours. And Bob, oh, we'll make it real easy. We'll go in the studio. Don and I, we're going to do this ourselves. Uh, we'll, we'll go in the studio and we'll record. Uh, you'll just have to show up for three hours and that's it. You can leave. You don't have to worry about it. And he says, I don't want to be a recording artist. And why doesn't McNeil want to be a recording star? In a telephone interview from his home in Nashville, he told me that he just isn't interested in traveling all around the country in a bus. He said he'd much rather spend the time with his family. Ben McCain, Action 12 News. Okay, man, that's a feature that did on uh, Bob McDeal years ago. 40, 41 years ago, man. That's a long time ago. Yeah, that's a long, Ooh, long, 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 long time long, ago. Long, 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 long time long, ago. Long, 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 in fact, in fact, I, I went to Nashville and I met met up with him and Bob was nice enough to take me out to lunch and man, the guy, he's just one of my favorite writers. He's written songs, big hits for Waylon and Don Williams and uh, Amanda was one of the big hits he wrote for Waylon and he's, uh, I think he also wrote a song for Waylon called I Recall a Gypsy Woman. I believe he wrote that one too. But Bobby Bear is also a big time artist and he keeps performing even now. He, he just got inducted again uh, recently into the uh, the Grand Ole Opry, and his son Bobby Bear Jr. Man, I'm not <laughs> mean to bore boring. you, man. Bobby You're Bear Jr. Boring. He also is a recording artist, and he does some really funny songs. And but Bobby, I remember he had a song years ago called uh, Marie Laveau, uh, and that was a, that was a I think that was his big number one years and years ago. They used to play it on KOMA radio, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't want to bore you anymore. You're big not boy. here. You got your birthday coming up here. Yes. Today. Gonna turn seven. The big boy's turning seven. Yeah, turning seven. Ooh, I hope you guys enjoyed 
that story on uh, Bob McDeal and Bobby Bear going back into Daddy's video yeah. archives and my birthday from is long ago. January 16, That's right. 2014. That's right. I'm going to turn seven. 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 That's right. Let's close out our show with our prayerful song. Stay healthy, people. It's crazy. The numbers just keep spiking here in L.A. County. Lord Jesus, please protect us from the coronavirus. Oh, Lord Jesus, please protect us. Those who want to harm us. Oh, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, please protect us. See you next time, Bob.